How's it going guys, girls and baby pals? I'm Alison Wonderland, your favorite Kiwi trans girl, and every now and again in life you get one of those situations that just makes you go uh, Yeah, something like that just happened to me. I'm sure you're familiar with the feeling. Stay tuned because this is hilariously embarrassing. Let me tell you the story about how I got recognized in public for the first time ever and in the worst place imaginable. You're not gonna believe this. Story time. We begin as I park my gay little car down a side street in a city. I'm walking along a well-known road in the center of town called K Road. Now there are about a million op shops and little bougie restaurants all along K Road. There are also a considerable number of sex workers. Not that that has anything to do with today's story because this story takes place in the afternoon. Now I go about doing my thing. I hop between a couple stores, I buy a couple cute skirts and tops, I ferry them back to my car, then I go and get some lunch and I continue on for about an hour. And then towards the far side of K Road, pedestrians start to get a little bit more sparse. There's not too much noise except for some random woman absolutely screaming drunk in the middle of the street about a block away. Just like my mother, am I right? <laughs> I love my mom. I look over my shoulder, there's not too many people around, and so I take the opportunity to duck into a small store on the corner. The bell rings above me as I enter. You know, it's quiet. There's only the shopkeeper and one other patron inside. I take a look over a couple of items, and I'm not too blown away with what I saw. It's just keeping to myself, you know. But out of the corner of my eye, I see that other patron looking in my direction. Oh, here comes trouble. And now, put yourself in my shoes for a second, okay? Because this is like the one store you really don't want any social interaction in, okay? I'll let you think about that for a minute, because we make eye contact, and now it is unavoidable. Are you Alice in Wonderland? Just like that. And I, I almost burst into laughter right then and there. I don't know what to do with myself. I never saw this coming. I never imagined this could have happened. The odds were astronomical. What do I do? Do I say no? Do I ignore her? Do I scream and sh** myself? Do I run in the other direction? My brain is analyzing my options right here. It's like I'm in a telltale game. But the jig is up. Oh hubris. My obsession with standing out was my downfall. My asymmetrical hair, my colored makeup, all of that came together and meant there was no plausible deniability. It was me. There was no question about it. I should have worn some Groucho Mark glasses. It was definitely me. Um, yes, I say. How's it going? And I am already thinking about how I can tell this story because I just got recognized in the worst place imaginable. And it's the first time ever. It's supposed to be like some kind of influencer milestone. But all I can think about is why here? And it is f***ing hilarious to me. Like I am laughing my ass off here. You see the store I walked into, it's marked on the street by a bright striking pink fascia. And it has the words peaches and cream sign written over it. Now for those those of you that don't know, I'm just gonna say it out loud. Peaches and cream is a sex shop. The first time I have ever been recognized in public was in a sex shop. A f***ing sex shop. I cannot f***ing believe it. There I am, Saturday afternoon, all dressed up, surrounded on all sides by dildos, vibrators, butt plugs, cuffs, leashes, all that kind of stuff. And faced with the absolute irony of being irrefutably recognized and called out for where I was. Yes, thank you. You just met me, Alice in Wonderland, looking at a wall of vibrators in the middle of a sex shop. Yes, it's me. Hi, how are you? I hope this doesn't affect how you see me. Am I still your idol? Do you want me to use this on you? What would you do if you met me in a sex shop? Like, what would you think? That don't ask what I'm doing in this shop, okay? I was of course searching for new tools with which to teach my submissives a lesson. I'm a witch. Anyway, I'm not embarrassed. I just stood there grinning and laughing my ass off because this is f***ing hilarious. And she's lovely, bless her cotton socks, you know? I make sure she doesn't feel embarrassed or too bad about herself. I can't remember exactly what she said, but I think she said something about how, you know, I watch and love your videos and how she was a little bit starstruck. Which just seems absolutely insane to me because I'm not at all famous. But, you know, I actually felt really flattered that someone was excited to meet me. I could see she was pretty nervous, so, you know, I was... I asked her if she wanted a hug. She did. We had a quick hug. So to you, who spotted me in a sex shop on K Road and got a hug, right on, girl! Don't be embarrassed, this was honestly f***ing hilarious. We had a bit of a laugh because I told her I'd never been recognized in public before and then, you know, we went our separate ways. All in all, it was a wholesome interaction. It just still boggles my mind, the chances. 
First off, I've never been recognized in public before. Never, ever. Not even close. This was the first time ever. It was also my first time ever going into a sex shop. And I'm not kidding, I had never, ever even entertained the idea of being inside a Peaches and Cream before. This was an entirely new experience for me. It was my first time and I was only gonna be in there for a couple of minutes. So we were each only there for a couple of minutes and our timing just happened to coincide. I mean, what are the odds of that? It was just so hilariously embarrassing and it's a story I will tell for as long as I'm an influencer. How many people can boast and tell a hilarious story about their first time being recognized in public? It's f***ing hilarious and it is one hell of a milestone, honestly. Woohoo, I guess I'm famous. And yet, this still wasn't as embarrassing as the time that I went and bought alcohol in a maid outfit, which you can see in this video here. You should watch it, it's f***ing hilarious. But hang on a minute. I seem to remember that that was a 10,000 sub special, but now we have 20,000? Only a couple of weeks later? Woo! Thank you so much for all of your support. This is actually f insane. I cannot believe that shit. And to celebrate, to thank you, I thought I'd do something even more f***ing insane. Why f*** around? I'll just say it straight. If this video gets 3,500 likes, I will sell my maid outfit for charity to celebrate 25,000 submissives. Sub subscribers. You know what to do. Make it happen. Like this video, share it with everyone you can. Let's keep this wave of growth going. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to support me, please consider joining my channel and becoming a commissioned officer in the queer army, or alternatively, my buy me a coffee link is in the description. Now get the f off my property. Here's a minute of cat tax because I just realized that this video is not eight minutes yet and I need to sell my soul to the corporate YouTube overlords. And I know you all love Chester, so. No, 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 don't, don't attack the bag. <laughs>